here's my Bradco Extreme Duty Ground Shark. It weighs a little over 2,000 pounds, has a 72 inch cutting width, and is a two hose setup. There's no case drain. It needs 30 to 45 gallons per minute at up to 4,000 psi. Later on in the video, I'll show you how that front section there uh, tilts up to expose the blade. And you have the push bar so that you can help push trees over to influence where they fall. And you can even push over trees that are back leaning back towards the machine and make them fall the other direction. It has a very large bearing housing and it's oil filled. And on top of the bearing housing is the hydraulic motor. It comes standard with a pressure gauge that you can see from the operator seat uh, what pressure you're operating at which works very well for using the carbide teeth uh, so you can see you know, how much load you're putting on the machine so you don't stall the wheel and you keep it operating at peak efficiency. It sits flush with the ground. The front of the skids are angled upward so that you can roll it forward slightly and let the, gra the blades graze the ground so that you can cut up stuff smaller, cut the stumps lower, etc. the blades and the carbide teeth there's this three bolt access panel which uses 9 16 bolts and then it just pivots out of the way and right there you can see there's the carbide teeth The blade carrier that I'm spinning weighs a little over 600 pounds. And there are the three three quarter inch bolts that hold the blades on. This is the impact I'm using. It's the uh, Milwaukee 2763 18 volt. It's in the low torque setting so I don't strip the bolts out. But I highly recommend these for keeping in the truck for changing blades or knives or tires or pretty much anything you need to work on. You can see it's a very heavy construction. They have form channel on the top. Then there's a tube that goes across the bottom underneath the deck to help reinforce it that direction. It sits flush with the ground to help keep material off the back of the material from ejecting out of the back of the mower and hitting the machine. And now we'll tip it up and take a look underneath. It's tipped all the way up with the mounting plate vertical. The arms are still all the way down. Still, you wouldn't want to hang out underneath it. If it falls, it's going to put a mushing on you. The front right here pushes back to expose the cutter blade or the cutter blades. It kind of arcs backwards on a swing arm so it's not just a straight tilt so it doesn't jam against a tree. As you can see how the blade sticks out past them now for pushing. And you got your push bar here to help push trees over. The blades are three quarter inches thick AR 400 steel. They're dual beveled. Four blades. You take them out and flop them over on all of them and that gets you your new edge. One thing I like about it is all the blades are held on with the three three quarter inch bolts that have a captured head. And so that way, if you should be able to find a problem before they come off, it has 18 uh, stump grinding teeth, carbide teeth, um, underneath here. This part, the blade carrier, weighs about 600 pounds. There's like I said, 18 teeth, four knives, and there's these little spacers that hold the two sides of the blade carrier apart that also have a three quarter inch bolt going through them. Another thing I like is that the blade, the blade's bolts are held in a double shear or dual shear, um, meaning that you have the bolt passes through two pieces of metal and the loads put in between them, as opposed to like on traditional bush hog, the blades or held on with a single bolt that is in single shear, meaning it passes through one side and then 
it's bolted onto the blade. Also, these have a three and a half inch diameter puck of metal, which you can just barely see right in there that the blades go through, so the bolts are not experiencing wear from the blades swinging back and forth. You can see it's a very robust construction. The skid plates or skid shoes are replaceable. R by teeth are replaceable, blades are replaceable. Uh, you should be able to sharpen the blades on the machine. I'm going to get a cordless grinder and give it a shot. Those knives right there have about 30, 35 minutes on them. That's the Bradco Extreme Duty Ground Shark.